Today I'm going to show you how to navigate with keyboard shortcuts in Gmail. I've got nine different shortcuts to show you and it all starts with enabling shortcuts in Gmail. So to do that you'll just want to go to your settings in your top right corner, hit settings, and then you'll scroll down on the general tab to keyboard shortcuts here. I've got mine turned on right now but if you have yours off all you have to do is switch it on and when you make that change you'll just hit save at the bottom of the page. So now that we've confirmed our keyboard shortcuts are on, I'm going to start showing you some. Now if you want to compose a message, instead of hitting compose in the top left, you can simply hit the C key. If you want to open up a new Gmail compose window in a new tab, you simply hit the D key and you have an expanded draft open here. Now let's say I wanted to navigate through my emails quickly without having to open each one and without having to scroll and use my mouse. So to do that, I'm going to play with the J and K keys. To go back and forth on my email list, I'm going to hit the J and K keys so I can move back and forth between emails. You see this bar on the left hand side of my inbox moving down? I keep hitting the J button and it moves down. To reverse it and just go up, I hit the K button. And if I find an email that I want to expand, I hit enter. Now a similar keyboard shortcut you can use is the two letters N and P. This is moving up and down within a conversation. So we have a lot of Gmail messages that can build up with multiple 15 or more messages going back and forth. And sometimes they can be a little cumbersome to scroll through. So to move up and down with them on the keyboard, you just hit N and P. For N, you just hit down and you start at the bottom here you can see the, the blue bar right there and you hit P to scroll up. If you want to expand any of these messages hit enter. Now back in my inbox if there's a message that I want to star or highlight all I have to do is hit S. You see how that star just filled in? That was responding to me pressing S. If I hit S again it goes off. If I hit S quickly it'll turn blue and if I keep hitting it simultaneously in a quick fashion, I'll go through the list of all these different markers. Yellow star, blue star, green check, exclamation point red, exclamation point yellow, and then information blue. Now if I come across an email that I want to delete, let's say I'm moving up and down within my messages, I can hit J and K in here as well. And if I find one I want to delete, I'll just hit pound. Now take note that when you hit pound you have to press shift and then the three key to enable the pound button. Now let's say I wanted to mark this message as unread because I haven't read through all the messages yet. To do that, I'll hit shift U. And I've taken back to my inbox where it's marked as unread. Now I have two combination keyboard shortcuts you can use that will help you navigate through your folders quickly. The first one is hitting G and then S. Not simultaneously, just one after the other. So when I hit G and then S, I'm taken to all my emails that are starred. When I hit G and then D, you guessed it, I'm taken to my drafts. So these are nine keyboard shortcuts you can take when you enable the keyboard shortcuts in your Gmail settings. They help you navigate through your email a lot quicker and they're really great to memorize to help you save time. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time.